YouTube, it's your boy, back at it again. So dropping that knowledge on you knowledge seekers. All right, so you're checking in because you like the title, which should say, um, how do I declare my US national or state citizenship without a passport? Okay, now I addressed some of this in a previous video. Um, I didn't go into all of the entirety, which I'm going to do here. Uh, but when you're born, you are a national. Okay, you don't need the passport to declare that you're a national. You are a state citizen of the state that you were born there in. But um, so when your parents get you your social security number, start you know telling you, you got to get a job and paying taxes and all those other things, um, these are all contracts, uh, whether they're verbal, nonverbal, um, or situational, whatever. Um, that have either declared you a 14th Amendment citizen and basically contracted you under subcontract, under subcontract um, for you to be a part of their system or a uh, federal citizen. So let's get right down to it. The easiest way to declare yourself um, that without any anything major, the simplest, easiest legal way to do this, and this is not legal advice, just education, um, <clears throat> is to write your own statement saying, I, whatever your name is, declare myself to be a state citizen of your state. Um, I declare all this, you know, under penalty of perjury and whatever that I was born in this state. I am uh, a living being by this exact spelling of my name with your capital initial and then all lowercase uh, lettering um, for your entire name and not to be associated or misconstrued as a non-living being or entity or a corporate entity such as and then put your name in all capital letters but then put that you are the authorized agent thereof but assume no liability okay um, then you're going to want to take that, um, and if you have any specific, like, uh, religion or whatever else, add that in there. Um, if you want to add, um, whatever else comes to mind, like, you know, um, all this before, you know, the God of Abraham or, you know, anything like that, you want to say all that kind of stuff and then put in there that I am not, you know, a 14th amendment citizen. I'm not a federal employee. Um, nothing but a United States of America uh, republic born in the 50 states of the United States of America, um, living being or soul, you know, something like that. However you want to phrase it is fine. You get that all put up, typed up on your computer, printed on paper, and then what you're going to want to do is um, take that. Uh, and if you have a friend who's willing to do that, do this either to or just to witness uh, this, have them come with you to a bank or down to your uh, city hall um, to get it registered with the city, but get it notarized and have them available, your friend, with their um, ID as well, proving that they are who they say they are and have a space in there for your friend to sign. And if you can have two people, one is good, Two is great. Three is even better. Um, but at least you, your friend, and then the notary, that's three people. Um, that's all you need to declare it. So, but some people are like, well, why do you need a passport? You know, why do you have these passports, you know, saying that, you know, declare, declaring yourself as a U.S. national, national, or state citizen? The reason why is because for those of us who have gone further down the rabbit hole, if you will, it's because when you declare it through your passport, um, it adds bite to it because you're declaring it to a, a, the, a multi-billion dollar agency, to the government and their various parties, um, everything associated with your social security numbers and such information. Now, when you do that, um, it's the same as declaring it on your own, just with a notary, without having to do it through the passport. But with this, it's important because they're going to issue that information into the card okay you can print your own card and doing do it that way 
But if you're going to travel in your personal conveyance, as some of us do, um, problem comes in at is they're not going to recognize your homemade ID um, and your rights thereof. They should, but most cops, unfortunately, some of them are good, some of them are, you know, um, but they don't, some of them don't know these rules and laws outside of their system. The only thing that they can identify with is that passport, okay, or your driver's license or your state ID. Typically, if you have a state ID, they know that you don't have a driver's license. And on the state ID, it says not a driver's license. Because for some reason, you can't have both. Um, what the exact reasoning is, I don't know. But uh, some of your states will allow it. But apparently, you can't mix those two different systems. So one must be on the living side. One must be on the you know corporate side or between the state and federal you can't have two of of these conflicting things at least here in wisconsin so you have to check and see what your state is now some people were asking why is there um you know how does that work with rights and stuff well you've always been a national you just became also a 14th amendment citizen unknowingly okay so depending on what crime or thing you've done that's why you get put in certain different courts okay um, in front of a magistrate or judge, if you will, so-called Supreme Court is really the only place where there's an actual real judge um, who can actually really sentence you and things of that nature. Um, but that's for another video. So it would be kind of like, how, how does this work? If I or somebody, anybody were to join like, you know, um, another nation, more nation, Islam nation, uh, whatever, as a citizen, you have your American rights in America. If you're in any area that's considered their jurisdiction, then you have those rights that are involved in their nation. American rights are not going to play a factor in their nation and their nation laws are not going to play a factor here. Um, though a lot of them, if they see you, uh, it's kind of like you're visually within, become in the bubble of their territory and you might have to conduct yourself a certain way. Um, but the two different laws or laws of each nation, um, you have to abide by as such when in such. Okay. So that is really how to do it. Um, who can do it? Well, basically if you can become considered a legal citizen of your city or your, or your state rather, um, you probably can become a uh, state citizen um, you might have to take a oath or a pledge or whatever else or sign a document saying that um, you know basically like we said how to do a pass uh, how to do a declaration without a passport if you could do that to your state and have them notarize it you might have to go in front of like a, a city official and do that that would possibly be one loophole way around it and then you can then apply for a passport um, and become a state citizen, you know, officially recognized, that might be a loophole because I know that some, um, I made one video saying that people from other countries can't really become, um, a state citizen because they weren't born here. But I probably, if you're here with enough time, you have to see which, how your city and state does it. Each one might be different or find a place that is willing to accept you to, to do that. And you take the oath, then you could become classified um, as a citizen of that state. And once that's done, then you could probably apply for a passport and say that, you know, but when they ask on the question where you were born, you still have to put your original country. So they may not um, allow for that. I don't know for sure. I have not done that. I know one guy who said he um, was from another country, lived in Florida long enough and became a state citizen of Florida. Um, and he was going to apply for a passport. So, uh, I think he said, no, he said he did, but he got it as a, this wasn't for me. He got it as a three-star non-U.S. national. Um, so he did at least make it that far in, in that, uh, aspect. Now, as far as whether, you know, he could ever get four or five, if you even want to believe in such, don't know. Um, but anyway, back to the original, um, that's how you would, declare yourself um, 
a national or a state citizen outside of doing it the passport way. Uh, and in any place you can put this out in the open so it becomes part of the public record. Uh, it goes a long way to help your case. But for me, I don't, that's the kind of the grassroots way. I wanted something a little bit more concrete, as do most people. I want it certified so that it's uh, undisputed, uh, especially as a traveler. So I would recommend uh, doing it, correcting it via the passport in that particular way. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate the donations. Appreciate the, the subscriptions. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, and subscribe on the way out. Um, and um, that's about it. More videos to come when I get some free time. And um, till then, enjoy your day. Take care of yourselves. And if the weather's cold, stay warm. And if it's warm where you are, stay cool. So that's about it, guys. Wolf's out. Talk to you later. Bye.